guys, how you doing? I hope you're well. Uh, welcome to Brett's Fishing Diaries. Although I ain't got any fishing to show you today, but um, this is an important video for me, and I just wanted to put it out there because it's kind of a, a feel good video. Um, it certainly made me feel good and um, warms the cockles of my heart. Um, I'll tell you a quick story. All right, and then I'll tell you who I'm talking about. So, um, you may or may not remember if you watched, uh, I think it, was, well, it might have been my last video or second from last. Anyway, um, I was on the river, it was cold, it was a short video. And on the video I explained that my beach rod was buggered. The saw jammed, the can not tighten the reel up, and one thing that I was, so I was fishing with my feeder rod. Um, and this man watched that video um, and contacted me. Now, previously, I mean, I've never met this guy, all right? Um, we, I've only been sea fishing for three or four months, and his was one of the first videos I watched, and um, I was hooked on his videos because we're both from Galston and uh, so it was nice to hear a fellow Norfolk and, uh, uh, um, on, on YouTube and um, anyway we've exchanged a couple of messages via our videos um, and then I had a really rough couple of weeks I've uh, been suffering a bit with health and a few other problems which I won't go into but I was basically sitting at home, feeling sorry for myself, uh, down in the dumps. And he called me via messenger. And we had a, a lovely chat for about an hour. Um, turns out when we were kids, we lived just up the road from each other. We went to the same high school, um, but he's three years older than me, I think. Uh, so our, our paths never crossed. But we had a lovely chat and... Um, reminiscing about the old days and the old town, which I'm still in, um, and putting the world to rights, which I think is what Norfolk people mainly do. So it was a great chat. And at the end of it, he said to me, give me your address. He said, I've got some stickers for you. I thought, oh, that'd be awesome. You know, put some stickers on my seat box and, you know, be part of the fishing community. And this is one thing that I've found since I've been sea fishing, both on YouTube and people in real life who have walked past and all that, um, the sea fishing community is extraordinary. Uh, it's awesome. Um, people are so nice and uh, there is a great camaraderie uh, within sea fishing. Now, I haven't found so much with the freshwater fishing, which is what I've done most of my life. Um, but anyway, a parcel arrived with the stickers. Um, this is the parcel. Um, and inside weren't any stickers, but a beach rod. Um, there was a second parcel, which I'd missed. Uh, I was at the hospital, I had a bit of heart trouble. But, um, so that was at the post office. So my sister took me there and we collected this box. And inside, this is my towel. He didn't give me a towel. The match and reel to go with the sea fishing rod. I can't tell you. It, it brought a tear. Um, for somebody to do that act of kindness, um, somebody I've never met, uh, guys that blew me away. I haven't stopped smiling since. I haven't been able to use it yet. I was hoping to do this video at the beginning of a fishing video using this stuff because I can't wait. 
I, I, I really can't wait. Uh, and they all, the, the box was full. Sea fishing rigs that he'd made, um, hooks, um, just a box full of goodies and, and a little note, um, which at the end said, have a drink on me and a biscuit. And there was a tea bag in there <laughs> and an orange club biscuit. What a guy. Now, I, I did speak to him. I did have his permission to do this, but that's not what he's done it for. Um, to big him up or anything like that. He's not that sort of guy. But I, I can't... I have to put this video out because I can't tell you enough. Not only is it so hard to get behind the couch, buddy, because this is coming. The love is coming. Um, it lifted me like I can't tell you. I, I really can't. Um, it, I'm still blown away by it. Um, I don't think it was as big a thing to him as it is to me. And I will keep this gear for life. Um, it's my new gear. I can't wait to fish with it. Now, who is this saint that I speak of? Well, it's none other. Some of you probably already guessed it. But Vern. Saint Vern from Vern Sea Fishing. If you haven't seen his channel, I'll put a link in the description. Go check him out. Just a down to earth, awesome, lovely guy who I now consider a friend for life. Not just because he's done this, um, but we have spoken a couple of times on the phone now because obviously I had to ring him up after I received this. Um, and he's so humble and he's so sweet. Vern, you, you touched me, man. I can't tell you. I can't express it enough. Um, I won't go on too much. I was going to do so many things for this video to embarrass him, but I'm not going to um, because that's not fair. And he's probably already cringing. But um, from the bottom of my heart, Ver, thank you so much, my friend. Um, I'm going to start choking up now. <clears throat> Okay, I just wanted to get that video out there and express how grateful I am and not to encourage other people to do the same thing. That's not a pay it forward video, but you know, it's, it's things like this that rejuvenate my faith in humanity. That, you know, there's still some lovely people out there that can do an act of kindness and just change everything for you. I've been buzzing for days. I was down in the dumps. I was just feeling crap. And now I'm buzzing. And as soon as that sun comes out or the snow stops, I am going to get on the river with this gear and bring an actual fishing video. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, Tight lines, because <laughs> he loves that saying, don't you, bud? But tight lines and calm minds. Thanks, God. Thanks for listening to my waffle on. All the best. See you soon. Look at this. This is mine. I'm going to be using this one. Like that. <laughs>